don't say no. Jamaica, just a little dot on the world map. If you zoom out just a little, you can't even see us. It is from this dot that the legendary Cool Herc left and went to the States and created the phenomena we now know as hip hop. So many international superstars with Jamaican backgrounds, Busta Rhymes, Vicky Smalls, Tupac, Sean Kingston, Nicki Minaj, isn't from here, but I couldn't tell. Still can't tell. Still can't tell. Jamaica has influenced so many hits like the fastest man, the fastest woman, creator of reggae, dancehall, skia, the most imitated Caribbean island on the big screen and the international pop culture in general some of the tastiest dishes on the planet beautiful vacation spots we create entertainment out of anything so it's safe to say we don't need any help when it comes to entertainment jamaica is the home of the edna manley college of the visual and performing arts every single year this school puts out well-trained entertainers and artisans. We have other tertiary level institutions, such as UE and UTEC, that spew out graduates ready to join the workforce. So many Edna students and other talented creatives who could become artists themselves are told there aren't any jobs, especially on the North Coast where tourists clamor to our shores year-round for entertainment and vacationing. These jobs could cushion them financially until they get discovered or branch to other facets of their craft that can earn. We are wondering why it is that Sandals, one of the top hotel chains in our country, continues to disregard Jamaican professionals putting foreign nationals in charge of entertainment both at the corporate and contractor level. They claim they're improving their entertainment product by putting a foreign national who has a dance group in charge of not just his group, but in charge of all entertainers. This man, Mr. Ochimin, came to Jamaica through Rio. It's rumored that he starts going around promising entertainment heads a cut of the profit if he gets charge of their entertainment package. Sandals gave him the contract to provide this for all their properties. He immediately starts getting rid of as many Jamaican acts as he could. The mentor bands, local dance groups, floor shows, cabaret singers, who he didn't get rid of, he offered less money or increased the requirements for the same price. There was a mentor band that he offered five thousand dollars not for individual members but the entire band that is evil this was at sandals royal plantation which is where the wealthier guests stay harmony which is the name of their company starts telling bands that were hired as backing bands to start doing the main show rather than the band singer supporting the act of the night they are now being forced to do the night's entertainment entirely without pay increase. These bands are asked to provide a drummer, guitarist, bassist, keyboard player, audio engineer, and now a singer. Not only that, but backline equipment such as drum kits, bass amps, guitar amps, keyboards, cables, which cost on average. This is easily a 700 us per night gig for a resident band at a five-star hotel for five nights a week consistently guess how much this chain offers their musicians as little as 170 us for everything they're asking for 
entertainers are told that the budget is tight. We hope it isn't true though, that you pay this man the least and upwards of 800 US per night per property. Is it true that the same company pays a night's entertainer 1,400 US per night in the Bahamas? There was a time when Sandals had three entertainment heads, Mr. Weston Harton, Mr. David Ellis, and Mr. Joel Ryan. Two of these were Jamaicans. There's only one left. Guess who? If I go to China, I want to see this. Trinidad, America, Brazil, Africa. Why is it that Jamaica is prioritizing this instead of this? I can see foreigners going to another country and looking out for their people. But when people like Dwight Finley and Ian Lamy, Jamaicans, join them willingly to sell out their own people, come on. It is rumored that Minister of Tourism, Ed Bartlett, says that there are not enough local entertainers to supply the North Coast. So he's fine with Harmony importing foreigners, not just dancers. Mr. Ochimin is now bringing in singers and players of instruments. The same North Coast where members of Grammy-nominated band Raging Fire come from. Earth Cries keyboard player, birthplace of Ramon Dada Smith and Jerome Spangy Small, members of Persons of Interest, which was formed on the North Coast. Livewire Band, Evan Lake, Tammy and Clive Moncrief, vocalists for artists like Jimmy Cliff, Jack Cure and Etana, Kirk Bennett, Tony Ruption, Richie Stevens, Bob Marley, Burning Spear, Bam and Poe, Brothers and drums and keys from Damian Marley, Sherwin Thompson, Joel Anderson, Leroy Mignot, the band for Jamaican Omi, Goofy, Toddy P, popular DJs like Mixmaster Overdose, DJ Was, Hatfield Dance Group, and so many I'll have to stop. Very irresponsible of this minister who should be ensuring that quality jobs are provided for locals above all. Jamaica is a third world country. When was the last time you saw a black Jamaican as general manager of one of these resorts? When is the last time you saw a black Jamaican executive chef at Sandals? No one who looks like this or comes from this can be a general manager or executive chef. What a set of dunce bats we are. All the top performers replaced with less competent ones. Are we not good enough to earn our worth in our own country? Harmony is now painting the picture that what they offer is of a higher quality than what Jamaicans have to offer. If companies like Sanders with a non-Jamaican entertainment director continues to intentionally sabotage Jamaicans and their product by always paying them way, way less than foreigners. What do you think will be the inevitable outcome? Product quality will decrease. Could this be a racial and nationality prejudice? And pay the entertainers directly and properly so they can display the best version of themselves. It's not a good look. Is this Jamaica? Come on. Do better for Jamaicans. Don't use us to build your image, then discard us. At Beaches Ocherias, another Sandals property, in the beach elevator is a bright and beautiful display of a mentor band. That mentor band lost their jobs immediately when Harmony was put in charge. Our culture? is loved, but when done by foreigners.